Landwirt.com is in Schenkenfällen, Mühlviertel, Region, looking at a fully automatic feeding robot built by Mr. Günther Fleischhandel. Hello, Günther. Hello, Denise. Would you like to explain to us what you have accomplished there, or rather what your motivation was for building the robot? That was already instilled in me from an early age. When Fodo built the barn, he already laid the tracks for the robot, which we then built in 2006 from old parts. And with that, we operated fully automatically from 2006 until the end. Over time, it aged, which inspired me to rebuild it a second time. Homemade, because I couldn't find a system that was so compact where I could mix the rations on site right away since I have my photo with me and because I'm a tinkerer. How does your feeding robot work in detail now? So what's the process? I feel using a tractor with a grab claw. Uh, I use the grab claw to take the corn silage out of the silo and put it into the container. The moving floor transports the corn silage to the rollers. And the rollers grind down the feed. While grinding down, I have the finishing feed on top and it gets added on the fly so I have the mixture right there at the animal. How do you control your feeding robot? I can control the feeding robot directly on the display on site or I can control it just the same on my phone. When I'm at work or lying in bed, I can check if there's an error. The whole thing is a programmable logic controller control system. We've installed a back off control system. The program runs automatically in the morning, controlled by a timer. So the first feeding starts at 5 o'clock in the morning and then we feed every three hours. Refilling occurs at 8 a.m. 11, a.m. 2 p.m., 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. every 2.5 days. How do the animals react to the more consistent feeding? The animals respond very well in the most. They just grow faster because of it. They always have fresh feed, uh, fresh feed with concentrated feed every three hours. I've increased their intake due to that. Which components did you install in your feeding robot? The main component is steel, OS355 steel. I cut and bent that at work. There are 11 gear motors installed, some of which I bought used, found or bought new. The control cabinet and system are new Baco units that we purchased. The programming was done by a friend and the electrical wiring for the control cabinet itself was also done by a friend of mine. Did you install any safety devices for emergencies? Yes, random atom emergency stop bars have been installed where sensors immediately stop the film machine when the emergency stop bar is pressed. How long did it take you to plan and then build this feeding robot? It took me about it took me two months to plan, and then just to build the steel frame and get it painted, it took me another two months. Altogether, including commissioning and everything else, I ended up with about a thousand hours. We put it into operation in February 2024, and by now it has already logged 470 hours in the 20 meter steel. To your complete satisfaction? Exactly, to my complete satisfaction. Thank you for presenting your brilliant do-it-yourself project to us, Günther. I wish you lots of success with it. Gunther works full time, so his do-it-yourself fully automatic feeding robot project is a big time saver. So if any of you have come up with ideas to build something yourselves, or maybe you've already made something, feel free to send it to landwork.com. We will be very happy to visit the best projects.